farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another short eat satisfactory Haiti video. In this video, I'm so excited because I'm gonna collect a lot of coins and XP from the farm pass. I'm gonna get over 1.5 million XP, which is a lot, and a lot of coins as well. There's something very enchanting, something very magical about collecting or you know getting a lot of coins and XP together at the same time, and that's what I always do, plus that's what my audience enjoys, especially for the people, you know, that are at lower levels, they don't have the chance to get that much XP at the same time, it's pretty cool to watch, so why not? Okay, I'm just gonna do my crops over here, got some rice and carrot, so yeah, let me just um, get rid of my crops, always the first thing that I focus, and now let's see what I can plant. Okay, so I know what I'm going to plant, and that's going to be some mint, like this. Um, that's also, oh, I need to plant more oats. What am I doing? That's not good. We need to plant more oats. Yes. For the moment, um, I think I'm just going to go with the oats. Yes. Oh, this is not good. We need to do some work with my bushes. And it's kind of funny to me that they're all, like, dead. And the way they all get dead together is something that I will never understand. I mean, technically, this should not happen. Or maybe it should. Maybe it's logic. Maybe Haiti lacks logic. I'll never know. Okay, so my dairy is stopped. Actually, not Mr. Ernest is making some items over here. We're going to make more goat cheese. That's what I need from there. And let's quickly do my machines. I'm gonna make some bread over here. I still haven't run my machines like throughout the day. It's been like seven hours since I'm awake, but I haven't done anything. I'm just being a lazy person, a lazy farmer, but a farmer should never be lazy. So I don't know what my punishment really is, but I guess we're just gonna work now. There's no point in making useless excuses. You just gotta work. You just gotta put your hard work into the machines and that's how everything works. Okay, right, I should have known that. Okay, now I'm gonna do something that I don't always do, which is to check the paper. I always forget to check the paper, and wow, now I'm getting the strawberries, which I could not find when I needed. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'm just gonna purchase them. I don't care. Um, strawberry is like one of the crops in the game that just always gets used, and you know, I don't even have a lot of it. Ooh, that's a lot of, my gosh, what is this? what I just found. A gava land. Interesting. I wonder what was the motive of the person that planted so many gava trees at the same time. Like, what were you trying to do? Trying to make money from the gavas? Crazy that my farm is, like, stuck. My screen is not even moving, you guys. I think we need to go back. It's just not gonna work. It's not gonna work. This is a huge lag that my farm, my screen cannot handle. Anyways, back to the main topic. XP and coins. So obviously the only way to get a lot of coins and XP at the same time is from the farm pass. If you buy the farm pass, you get more. Even if you don't buy the farm pass, you still get a bunch of coins and XP. Um, I think for me, if I don't buy the farm pass, that's going to be, okay, that's um, 720,000 uh, XP. So that's like half the amount of what I would normally get, you know, since I buy the farm pass. Not a bad deal, even if you don't buy the farm pass. I think back in the day, you used to get a lot of XP. I still remember I got over 2 million XP the first time I bought the farm pass back in 2020, but then they uh, decreased the XP and somehow they increased the coins, which I don't understand why they did it. They were saying that a lot of people are complaining. Well, good for the people who are complaining. I'm still mad. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, that's 100,000 XP from the bottom road. Remember, the bottom is free, and the top one is the paid one. 23,000 coins. So that's... What is that? That's a very low amount of coins. I am a little shocked. I don't remember getting 23,000 coins from the farm pass. It always used to be more. Hmm. I don't know what happened. Okay, two 10,000 XP from the bottom road. And now, the best part, 93,000 coins... I'm kind of confused. Um, this means that I only got about 117,000 coins. Isn't that a little low? Don't you usually get more? But 3, 2, 1, here we go. Here we go. The best moment of all time. Getting so much coins and XP. Of course, I'm getting all my level threshold rewards, which I think apparently are not great enough. So I got uh, the town tools that I don't need, vouchers, good. Um, and I also do not need this booster, but nonetheless, I'm excited to finish my farm pass. And this was the last farm pass of 2023. 
maybe you guys are watching this video in 2024. So I hope you're having a good year so far, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know how much XP and coins do you get from the farm pass? And why do you really buy the farm pass? I'm always interesting to know what are people's motives when they do something. For me, it's um, definitely the XP and expansion premiums. I don't care a lot about the decorations. I don't care a lot about other items. XP and expansion permits. So thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye.